Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it's Nitro Kyosho. Um, some of my subscribers have been getting on me about getting back to uh, doing some car stuff and talking about some car things and kind of get away from the helicopters. We're kind of out of helicopter season here in New England. Uh, so it is really a good time to get back into talking about the cars and stuff. We're not doing too much flying outside anymore. Uh, so let's uh, talk about this guy. This is the HPI, okay, Baja. This is the uh, 5B model. And a couple of my subscribers wanted to, basically wanted me to do like an under the hood type thing to show what's under, you know, the body, uh, what does it consist of, how is this thing put together, and uh, talk about a few of the features of it and different things. So in a second here, I'm going to pull the camera off of the pod over there, and we'll get a, a closer in-depth look at this thing here. Um, I put a video out uh, about a week ago. Uh, somebody had asked me to compare this to like a nitro buggy, and I talked a little bit about different things on this at, at that point. Uh, but now we're going to primarily just focus on this guy here. So let me get that off of the pod, and... Let's get a closer look at this beast. Okay. Now I'll try not to shake this camera and make you guys dizzy. Now the Baja consists of a three-part body, guys. Okay. This section here. Okay, it's got this little section that covers the front. I left on because there's really not much to see there. This isn't a four-wheel drive unit. And it also has the back plate here that goes underneath the buggy and connects onto the side. So it's really a three-piece uh, body set. Um, so let's, let me swing around here and we'll talk a little bit more about this guy. Uh, now these are set up guys a little bit different all right, than a Nitro. And we'll start with some of the basics out there uh, for some guys that are getting into this. And uh, we'll go from there. Now, more or less, I've never seen a Baja buggy uh, that isn't a pull start. Uh, I don't, to my knowledge, I've never seen a bump box uh, Baja buggy or, or even a drill start. They've all, everyone I've ever seen has always primarily been a pull start. Uh... You got your engine in here protected by the cage. You have a spark plug in here, guys. These are uh, running on spark plugs, not uh, glow plugs like our nitro friends. Uh, you have a, this is the newer updated free flow exhaust. You can buy uh, the chrome aftermarket pipes uh, that are, uh, in my opinion, very, very loud. <laughs> and uh, a kind of annoying, especially depending where you're running it. Uh, these all come with oil-filled shocks, coil over here. Uh, these have the adjusters like uh, the low-sea buggies have. I think Kyosho now is doing that too. They have the adjustments so you don't have to put in the, all the plastic inserts. Uh, they have the dust boots to protect the piston in there, guys. You have obviously four shocks on this guy, two in the front. Uh, this is a two-wheel drive buggy. Okay, so there's no real maintenance in the front of this guy here. There's no uh, drive shaft going through here. Um, it's basically just a two-wheel drive machine. Uh, but don't let that scare you away because this thing can climb hills like a four-wheel drive can. Unbelievable uh, beastly power out of this machine. You've got a box up in the front here, guys. Uh, this is going to contain uh, your battery and your radio system. You have one servo on the side here, and that's going to just be for uh, your throttle and your braking. Kind of the same deal set up with like a nitro car. You've got down in here your front uh, for your steering servo. Uh, this was just basically looking inside to see for the bind plug to make sure that was okay. <clears throat> um, this here is the port to charge your battery. It's got the Timea connector sealed up nicely. 
Um, this is like a this is a gasoline two-stroke oil uh, mixture. You're not running nitromethane in this. Um, I put an outerwear uh, protector on here. This is to protect the pull start. It's a breathable and it keeps all the dirt and dust out of getting in and, and uh, jamming up your pull start. I would definitely recommend one of those. They're made by uh, Outerwares. Uh, you got your carburetor down inside of here, guys. Uh, like the nitro cars, you have your two-stage filter. If I can pull this back, you'll see the other filter down underneath. Uh, this is a nice feature back here that they have uh, protecting the spark plug from getting knocked off or broken in there inside the cylinder. Uh, it's a pretty decent layout, this buggy. Um, I like the way HPI put it together with all the pins, how everything, the box comes out from the pins, uh, with the pins there, the cage all comes off with the pins. It's very tightly put together, but uh, the gas tank can be removed with the pins. Very quick, uh, very simple maintenance uh, to get to access everything. Hats off uh, to HPI, the way they, the engineers design this and how everything comes apart. Uh, if you're running a chrome exhaust pipe, guys, this uh, really isn't going to apply to you. But if you leave on uh, the original uh, high flow muffler here, what I did, because the muffler tip only came to here and it was blowing oil all over the back and making a mess. Uh, so what I did was I took a piece of uh, automotive uh, car, you know, hose here, put a clamp, and then I ran it out the back. You see this is in here to keep, uh, this is stored for the winter. This is just a piece of paper towel shoved in the tip to keep any moisture from climbing up inside into the engine. And I basically just put this thing, guys, coming out the back here. It looks cool. I like the way it looks. And primarily it wasn't for looks, guys. It was to keep the oil and send the oil blasting out the back here. And that keeps you from having to get inside of all this area and cleaning that up. Uh, low maintenance vehicle. Uh, really it depends how you run these things, guys. If you're mudding and you're in water, then obviously you've got a lot more work ahead of you. If you're keeping them in grass, uh, primarily after you're done running them, just blow them off with an air gun and you're usually good to go. Uh, maybe clean up the body with like a Clorox wet wipe or something and uh, that's about it. Uh, Gearbox is back here inside of here. Let's see if I can zoom in there for you. You can see it inside of there pretty clearly. All right, that comes pre-filled with the silicon oil. Uh, you can put aftermarket grease if you want. That's up to you. They both serve uh, the purpose very well. Uh, and like I said, everything comes apart on this buggy fairly easy and fairly quick. Uh, and uh, other than that, guys, uh, not a whole, a whole, whole lot to talk about. Um, this is basically, like I said, a video. It's not going to be a... I don't want to stray off into different directions. It's primarily going to be for the guys that asked me how does it look underneath, what, how is everything assembled, put together. Uh, and it's basically uh, for those uh, people that asked me, this is what it looks like, the in internal guts of this machine, uh, even the air filter, the ring here just pops apart, pulls off. You, can, uh, you have a pin that goes through the front here also. That holds that guy together. That's off for the winter time. There's no oil on this filter. It's been cleaned and put away for the winter here. Uh, you can run these out in snow, guys, but, you know, uh, it will make a mess. you got to get them in the house, and uh, you got to clean them off, blow them off with an air gun. I just, ah, I don't want to be bothered with all that headache. Uh, so I just put it away for the winter time. Uh, I've seen some guys blasting in the snow looking like they were having a good time, so... You know, that's really an option, depends on the person and how much cleaning they want to put forth. Over here you got your uh, choke lever. 
I have mine in the down position which means the carburetor is closed so no moisture can get in there. Uh, that's how you're basically going to put it to start it. And uh, like I said, I don't want to go off into too many different directions with the video. Uh, you also have a primer bulb in there. Okay, that's where you're going to prime it up. You're going to put that in your down position, give it a few pulls, and uh, uh, as soon as you hear it fire, you put that back up in the up position. It should fire right up for you. Be careful not to flood these engines, guys. A couple of pumps of that should do it. You see a little gas in there and uh, a couple pulls. If it doesn't, a couple more pumps of gas, but be careful. They can flood these things very easily. And, uh, you know, I put a sway bar kit on mine. This was the ready-to-run one. Uh, and it has, I bought the aftermarket from HPI, the sway bar kit. They give you three different sway bars. Uh, if you're going to run it on pavement, dirt, depending what you're going to run it on. Uh, but anyways, this, like I said, this is just an under the hood type deal. And uh, how it's put together. You got your big uh, uh, spur gear in here. You got your clutch down in there. Uh, you got your brakes down in here. And uh, you got your linkage here for your throttle, your braking. And uh, that's about it, guys. It's, uh, I hope that you uh, enjoyed the video and I hope it gave you an insight of how this thing is, is uh, put together. And uh, I thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho.